Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to use accordion in uh, ASP.NET Core with the database table. So here we have a accordion example, uh, accordion bootstrap example right here and you can say that uh, this is the expander and collapse looking like that. Just C sharp, ASP.NET Core, PHP and C languages are the book title and uh, in in a single book, we have two chapters. Uh, in uh, ASP.NET Core, have three chapters, and PHP have uh, two chapters. Uh, similarly, C language have two chapters. Okay, so here we have uh, the book title like C Sharp, ASP.NET Core, PHP, and C language, and inside it, here we have chapters. So book and chapters between the mapping between the books and chapters is one to many. Uh, a book have many chapters. You can say so. Uh, the relationship between the books and the chapters have mm, one to many. So here we have a model like book uh, that is the book ID and the title and a book have multiple chapters. You can say that this is the relationship between the books and the chapters. So uh, inside it here we have a chapters like ID, title, description, book ID and book. So here we have one to many uh, uh, book chapters and now after this, you just add this uh, in the application DB context, books and chapters. So similarly, we have a database table uh, in a SQL Server Object Explorer, just looking like that. Uh, database table, book chapters, where is the book chapters? Yeah, there is a book chapter DB, now expand it, tables. Here we are using identity DB context, so uh, identity tables also there. So ASP.NET roles, claims, ASP.NET roles, like that. Now the books and the chapters. So he here we have some entries in the books, like C Sharp, ASP.NET Core, and ASP.NET and uh, uh, PHP and uh, C language. So these are the entry inside it in the books. Similarly, here we have chapters according to their book ID. So chapters is also there in the books. Uh, in the chapters okay so everything is right uh, you know very well how to design these types of things in ASP.NET Core but if you are using accordion like that uh, in the explorer like that in the this is the accordion control of the bootstrap so first of all just go for the bootstrap and uh, just add the bootstrap things in in your CSHTML file so uh, now wait for some times it will uh, loaded um, your SQL Server Object Explorer output uh, on your Explorer. Okay, so wait for some times and uh, it will show. So here we have some entries of the books like C Sharp, ASP.NET Core, PHP and C language uh, that is matched with this your title C Sharp, ASP.NET. Uh, this, these are the uh, books title and similarly we have some chapters like that uh, chapter 1, chapter 2 uh, inside it the uh, book ID 1 like that uh, in the C Sharp. So ASP.NET have 1, 2, 3, 3 uh, chapters inside uh, ASP.NET Core. Okay, so this is the database table of your um, books and the chapters. Okay, so what is the logic behind that accordion to use? Uh, in the uh, controller section, so you can say that uh, here we have a view model where books, list of the books also there um, with the including chapters and the chapters is also um, with the uh, to list. Just getting, uh, just get uh, from the uh, database table using the context class so context.books.include chapters dot list context.chapters dot list after that you can just move to the uh, book view model to the main page so here we have uh, books inside it here we have index.cshtml the main logic right now so here we have the accordion control like division class is accordion and ID is accordion example. That is the similar. Now after that you can use for each loop for your books title. So book dot book in model dot books. And here you can say that uh, 
uh, again uh, uh, in the bootstrap we found uh, a new division for your accordion items so inside your accordion items you can just uh, add a block code in the ASP.NET Core where you just get the chapters according to their books so inside the model here we have some chapters uh, dot where uh, x dot book id is double equals to book id so just get the chapters according to their books okay so book id is like the uh, first id just get uh, your c sharp bow chapters so the first thing is to uh, in the h2 tag in the um, bootstrap you just got book dot id <coughs> and the button control uh, class is accordion button uh, type is button data bs toggle is collapse and data bs target is hash inside it here we use a hash book dash and the book id and the area expanded is true that is the first time when all these are the expanded area control if you uh, can take the false um, then all these are the uh, collapse okay so area control is uh, same similar like that books dash book dot id because that area control and the database target is directly related to your uh, this division okay so uh, inside the button control you can just show book dot title so here we can use uh, book at the rate of book dot title so similar your output look looking like that c sharp psp dot net core php and c languages according to their for each loop okay so book dot title and similarly in that second division you can just take it book dash book dot id uh, that is book id is match with your database target that is the book id and uh, area controls that is book book dot id okay so class is accordion collapse collapse show and area labeled by uh, heading one and uh, database parent is accordion example that is the matched with your this okay and the next one is the you can use for each loop for your chapters uh, okay so each items is actually inside it in the accordion body so um, chapter uh, inside it you can take it chapter dot title so here we have the for each loop according to their chapters and chapters get it from according to their book id so uh, the first book the uh, book id first uh, here we have two items in the chapters uh, like chapter one and chapter two so these are uh, item displayed on in your accordion body and uh, one by one uh, these all items are moved to the uh, respective books so this is the example of simple example of accordion control you can uh, use it in your um, in your project in your asp.net core projects so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and uh, don't forget please subscribe my channel if you like this video and please share also uh, and also join this channel and you get the free code okay so if you join the channel uh, then you get the free code with the, uh, with the projects and uh, with the tutorials so thank you very much for watching this video